Rise of Studios have just released Copa Petrobras to Marcus available for free which you can download from the download link under this video in the video description now this doesn't have any multiplayer it's just got single player test a championship and what we're going to do right now is just jump into a single player race just do a quick three let's just do a two lap sprint race uh, and just talk about what it looks like how it handles and what you get for free so you can't really complain even if it was rubbish because it's free nothing lost apart from your time in terms of tracks, you get Brasilia, Caturbia, can't even say that, Interlagos, Trauma and Velo Park. And in terms of vehicles, you get a Chevrolet, a Ford, a Mitsubishi and a Toyota. And each one comes with a couple of different skins and the ability for you to also make your own skins if you want to. Now, one thing to notice is when you first install it, don't let the thing update uh, if you're doing this within a week of it coming out, it literally just came out yesterday. Because if you let it update, none of the content appears in the game. If you cancel the updater when you first launch it, it all seems to work fine. As I say, that's literally just this week now. After that, I'm sure Reza will have fixed it. Uh, when you first load up, I'm just going to change this to actually 100% A, a uh, strength, AI aggression 50%. Uh, we can have up to 17 drivers. Race length laps, you can set, you can do a full length race, you can do sprint races, you can do it based on time, do whatever you want. Essentially like a cut down version of game stock car with just this specific car. As I was saying, when you first, let's go to Interlagos, when you first load up the game, uh, it has a bunch of the assists on, um, it's sort of set out of the box for someone that's new to sim racing, automatic gears, uh, but everything else just worked really nice. The force feedback settings are set up really decent. The, uh, the sound, everything else, it's all just nicely set up out of the box. You might want to fiddle with the graphics a bit, but, you know, load it up. This is your first time sim racing because someone's recommended you to download this because, actually, as, as far as it goes, in terms of free games, the amount of content you get in this and the quality of the force feedback is really good. So if it's the first time you're loading it up, you might want to fiddle with the settings a bit, but it's pretty decent out of the box. Let's just go straight into a race. You can obviously do uh, practices, qualies, and treat it like a as if you were in the Petrobras de Marcos, which I have no clue. Uh, I don't have anything. I don't have any knowledge about the the event because I don't live in Brazil. Uh, but let's go uh, race start. Uh, the AI. So just going over what you actually get, what it's like. If you've played Game Stock Car, the physics and the force feedback are very similar to that. I wouldn't be surprised if it is essentially, you know. It's the same developer. They've probably essentially used the same package uh, and just put these cars into some of their content. So it's very much like Game Stock Car. But the force feedback, for those of you who have never played Game Stock Car, absolutely fantastic. Communicates loading of the car, what's going on for the most part. Rumbles, track texture, really nice and communicative. Now these cars, unfortunately, are all front wheel drive cars and... Uh, Personally, I'm not a big fan of front-wheel drive cars. It feels like you're driving a shopping trolley with a moped motor attached to it. But, as far as front-wheel drive cars go, uh, it feels absolutely fine. The, you can tell what the car's doing. It's very controllable. Of course, like any front-wheel drive car, if you have a mistake, you can just stick your foot on the throttle and the car will pull itself back together. The AI is really nice and challenging. As I say, it's probably just the... Uh, it's probably the game stock AI. It seems very similar in terms of how it spreads out. They'll pop a bit of challenge. If you put their aggression up a bit, they'll fight you. They rummage about for places. They're quite believable. And uh, if you like racing offline with AI and you like front wheel drive cars, then you would be insane not to download this right away. Uh, it's a good excuse to learn some Brazilian racetracks. Now, of course, I did pick into Lagos because it's the only Brazilian racetrack I really know. Though they have they put the uh, chicane in this version, and it's quite tricky with this car. Let's try it. and not go into the tyres. There we go. <laughs> of course, they've completely destroyed into Lagos now. Uh, it, with the uh, changes they've made to it for F1, or are making to it. But you know what you're going to do. The graphics, of course, it looks like R-Factor 1, which is unfortunate, but 
at least that means it's going to run on everybody's computer and run at a high frame rate. And to be honest, this is you know it's on the simulation side of things rather than the arcadey. So graphics are probably not what people are looking for when they're playing something like this. And the graphics are more than enough for, for functionality. And you know the details are nice, the track layout's nice, the, the amount of polygon, polygonal detail in. Oh, I've gone too fast into that. Let's just put the throttle on. Avoid the wall. The amount of detail in the track surface is, you know, really nice. As I say, it feels really nice and textured, and the cars seem to respond as you would expect. Oh, no, into last place after that disaster. The sounds, uh, you know, it sounds absolutely fantastic. Reason to go for like a really nice clean sound, meaning that you could turn your volume up really loud and it's not going to crackle or hiss. Uh, it just sounds really good, it sounds nice and convincing. I've not tried it on speakers yet, just wearing uh, Sennheiser 595 headphones. But with them, if I pump the volume up, it's you know it's enough to get you really immersed in the vehicle, and it's it's got a really nice um, tone to the vehicle, which is quite satisfying to listen to. Uh, there's nothing grating or irritating about how the car sounds. So if you're spending time on this, that's not going to annoy you, and it's really quite pleasant. What else is there to talk about? We've done graphics, done force feedback, we've done sound, AI, done that. In terms of content, as I say, it's just single player uh, and just the four cars and the, I think, six tracks. But for free, and as far as free-to-play games go, uh, I can't think of any other free-to-play game that's better than this if you like driving simulators. Across the finish line. And uh, there we go, dead. Let's go back into the menu. Uh, if you do the... Uh, of course, this, as I say, being based on the GMOTO 2 engine, everything's really fast on a modern computer, which is nice. Uh, that you really do need to download this and have this. As I say, it's free, so it's worth installing and having it available. And I think where this, or who this would really shine for, are people that are new to sim racing and want to give it a little bit of a taste, uh, a tester. I'm not sure how well it would play with a keyboard. Uh, I'm sure it's got the options there. Let's have a quick look. Controls. You could probably use a keyboard. Let's give it a go. Um, don't know if we can okay let's give it a go with the keyboard and see how good it is or how drivable it is let's pick a different car let's pick the, pick the Ford but you know what it's, it's, it's essentially a really cut down version of GameStop car with a specific Copra Petrobras to Marcos content uh and it feels, to me, it feels very much like uh, if you were to buy a sort of £10 expansion for something like GTR Evo or Race, this feels like the same kind of uh, amount of content that you would get. And uh, Reza always do really good. They're, they're just, there's just an element of quality to everything they produce. Uh, it, it just feels very rounded uh, and everything just works even with a free-to-play game, apart from when you first install it, but I'm sure they'll fix that soon. I don't know how you change... Oh, oh that's reverse. There we go. Using the keyboard here. Oh, no. Okay. Going right. I'm really interested to see how drivable this is with a keyboard. I'm using Q to shift up, Z to shift down, and the arrow keys. Now, I, I am using a Corsair Cherry Red gaming keyboard. Which is probably a bit overkill. <laughs> so, who knows? Well, it seems, yeah, you know, it seems remarkably playable with the keyboard. So, yeah, if you if you wanted to give someone a game that gives them an idea of what a driving simulator is like, just tell them to download this for free. Oh, oh, not very analog uh, keyboard makes it very hard to actually do things precisely <laughs> but no this this works fantastic it's really hard to get a driving game to actually seem all right with a keyboard and this is fantastic I'm surprised if you're someone that games with a keyboard I'm sure you could actually drive to a reasonable pace with this especially if you put on some of the assists as well it's the same as R factor you can put assists on by pressing the F keys Let's put all the assists on and see how much it drives for us. 
It's, it's basically driving the car. I just press forwards. Let's put the gears on as well. What's uh, F? There's little icons that show you how much of the assist is applied. Okay, should, that should be full assist. Oh no, we need more steering assist. There we go, full steering assist. I think we could drive with one finger. Oh no, we don't even need to press brake. You could just hold down forwards and the car drives for you. So, whoops, for someone that's, if you were completely new to sim racing, you've only got a keyboard and you wanted to see, check something out, and get, that gives an idea of what sim racing is like or, you know, what a more realistic sim is like, then this is really good to recommend to just download. Let's see if it will do the full lap with just my finger on the ex on the accelerator. Oh, oh, no, you do. You do have to take your finger off. You can't just press forwards, unfortunately. But that is... Let's quit out of this. That is Cooper Petrobras de Marcus by Reza Studios. Free to play download game. Uh, download link in the video description. Thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and uh, check out my next video that I'll upload in a minute. Goodbye. <laughs>